How are y'all doing tonight? You know, this song was uh, one of the originals that we wrote a long time ago. We, long time. When the band first started, we actually were writing originals. And That's right. Then we got so good at doing copy stuff, we <laughs> sort of stopped a little. That's okay. I know. It's, 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 it's fun. a fun tune. Jay yeah. ran out of things to say. Yeah, that was what it is. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the broadcast. Welcome to the concert. We're thrilled that New Year's Eve... We're able to come to you. If you're watching on, which you are obviously, on any of our social media platforms, whether it's Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, Twitter, we're getting a lot of people watching on Twitter now, uh, now known as X, we encourage you to share it with your friends. We are in our faith and freedom drive, and we're going to have a lot of great music ahead. Uh, we've already started with a bang, I think, but the fact is we are in the last day and the last hours of our year. And I, as you may not know, we have got a major Supreme Court case, the biggest Supreme Court case we have ever had is now pending at the U.S. Supreme Court, and it's a case that affects everybody's right to vote. They're trying to take Donald Trump off the ballot in Colorado, now in Maine. We took the Colorado case to the Supreme Court of the United States. The other side just filed yesterday, or actually three days ago now, uh, a expedited review. We filed expedited review. This thing could be over with in two or three weeks. But you can imagine the resources that we've had to put into this just since Christmas. We started writing the brief two days before Christmas, got the petition for certiorari in, and the case has already been signed a case number. So what I'm telling you is, look, this is the biggest case we've ever had, and this is the most important day of the year we ever have. And I want to encourage you to support the work of the American Center for Law and Justice. And, you know, last year we had this campaign now more than ever. I mean, it is really now more than ever. Now, we're in a faith and freedom drive, but what's unique about this one is our team met with our boards, and we were able to get a three-times match. We've never had that. That means anybody that donates any amount of money to the ACLJ, it's going to be matched three times. Now, on radio, just on Friday, the last broadcast we did of the year, I looked in the camera as I'm looking into you and say, some of you, $30 is a sacrificial gift, $10 is a sacrificial gift, and we appreciate that. For others of you, you're making a year-end gift tonight, and $5,000 or $10,000 is not out of the realm of possibility. Now, that's only if you can do it. But I will tell you what happened. When I said that on radio, people gave $10,000. We got a gift. People watching actually on YouTube on the radio broadcast gave a gift of $10,000. So I want to encourage you to do it. Go to aclj.org. That's aclj.org, and support the work of the American Center for Law and Justice. All right, Mark, let's rock and roll. All right, take it away, Chris. Here we go. All right. Just 
Does this sound okay? One from Schlitt's favorite band. This with your friends if you're watching. We appreciate that on any of the social media platforms you're on. We appreciate it.
jump right in here and uh again thank you everybody for coming thank you for enjoying the show as we are we love doing these concerts and i want to encourage you to support our work at the american center for law and justice aclj.org and we're in a triple match last day of the year last hours folks we had a big gap when we started the year almost five million dollars for the aclj and we closed that gap to a couple hundred thousand so it is very possible that we could exceed our, our budget and our plan with your support. And we need to because I got this huge case we have at the Supreme Court of the United States affecting your right to vote. And as soon as we took the case up to Colorado, you saw what happened. Maine tried to take him off the Trump off the ballot. It's going to be others states doing the same thing. It's on an expedited basis at the Supreme Court. ACLJ.org. Any amount you donate, like I said, five dollars or five thousand. It's tripled. We appreciate you doing it. All right, Mark, let's rock. You know, one of the great things about having eight people on stage in an eight-man band is uh, uh, you get to do all kinds of uh, all kinds of things, you know, because we do double drums on the songs like the Doobie Brothers stuff and things that have double drums. It gives you a bunch of guitar players, and it's all sorts of fun. And um, this is a Steely Dan tune we're actually going to do. And This get, came out when I was in seventh grade. This is one of the first ones I ever no remember kidding. hearing from Steely. It's not that long ago. A couple of years. Hundred. And this one we get a bunch of percussion going. I get to play the uh, fun thing here. It's called a guita, right? Wero. A wero, yeah. Wero, yeah. Wero. So we're gonna get to get a little groove groove going here, right?
Yeah, you come back, Jack, do it again. We're turning round and round. You go back, Jack, do it again. Hey, hey. John Larry, Mark Townsend, come on. So much fun. <laughs> oh, you know, it's so fun to sort of coast, have all this amazing talent just making you look good. That, that's one of the secrets about a singer. If you can find the right band, you just stick back and go, yeah, I'm good, aren't I? And you never have to say a word. But speaking about talking words, this is the last day of the year, and ACLJ is doing such an amazing job. I'm actually very honored to be able to see it from inside. I, I don't know why, for some reason, God allowed me to be part of this. And I'm telling you, it is so exciting to see for real people caring. So if you're believing, if you like what's happening, remember, we can put our money where our mouth is. We can, we can send that and to a place where it is going to help. So please, if, if God's putting it on your heart, just go ahead and send. send. Please. We appreciate it. There's a link right on the, if you're watching on the social media, there's a link right there. All right. What do we got, Martin? We'll play one of Jay's favorite tunes. Yeah. We saw Marshall Tucker a few years ago, and th there was only the one gentleman or a couple Doug of them Gray. that were still yeah. around because I think a lot of them have passed. But it was still great to hear all the songs, and we love playing. The songs are great, and can't you sing? They were making Georgia Band. I went to law school in Macon, so it's perfect. <laughs> it's called Can't You See. It goes yeah. like this. You ready, Jake? Yeah, I yeah. am. Two, three, and four. And, uh...
train of Georgia now Till that train runs out of track Can't you see why? Can't you see yeah. What that woman Lord She's been doing to me yeah. Can't you see What that woman she been doing to me This next song is a McCartney song. Uh, Jay, I think, Jay did, did wasn't this a theme right song? Right after 9 11. For... This was, uh, he came to Washington, D.C. to play a concert right after 9 11, and he came out with this gigantic American flag and he sang, sang the song Freedom. So it was That's our right. theme song for our, our radio show for That's many, many years. That's what I thought. Yeah. Like before Undemocratic, yeah. before yep. we started using yeah. that. Yep. Now, I've, I've, been, I've been a fan of this tune since McCartney did it in 2001. I've, I've even read the history of the song. So it's, I think it's great. But before we get in, back into the music, and there's a lot of music ahead, I, I want to first thank those of you who have supported the work of the ACLJ this year or even this month. Thank you. We could not do it without you. But as I said, we are facing the biggest case that we've ever had. And understand, this is going on at the same time as we've got our European offices and our government affairs offices in Washington and our office in Strasbourg, France, fully engaged in defense of Israel at the United Nations. So if you just look at the landscape of what's going on right now, internally at the ACLJ, it's, it's unbelievable. We've got the Supreme Court case that is the most important Supreme Court case I've ever handled, and I've been doing this for 40 years. This case affects your right to vote, my right to vote. It'll affect your kids' and your grandkids' right to vote. So we're asking you to donate to the work of the American Center for Law and Justice because this case, once granted, is going to be on a fast track. I mean, they're, this, uh, this thing could be done and over in three weeks. In three weeks, this case could be completely over, which means we have to brief it, we have to get a reply brief, we have to do an oral argument, and then any post-decision issues. So here's what it means. Because they are trying to remove President Trump from the ballot, and they could do this to anybody they want to do, by the way, if we don't get this overturned. So whether you're for Trump or against Trump, it really doesn't matter. I mean, if you're a Republican or a Democrat, it doesn't matter. Because this is you can't just let people do this. The Secretary of State in Maine did this herself. She said, well, it would have been better if he was convicted of uh, insurrection, which, interestingly, he was never charged with, let alone convicted of. And the one time there was an insurrection uh, allegation, that was at the, the House of Representatives in the impeachment, and it went to trial in the Senate, and guess what? Acquitted. So here's what I'm telling you we need. We need your financial support here at the ACLJ. We, you know, we bring you these concerts. We bring you all the news and all the content of the ACLJ. We don't charge for any of that. But I'm not afraid to ask you for the support for our work at the American Center for Law and Justice. 
And what's unique about this time, we've never done this before. We've only done it the last four days. We're doing a triple match, which means any amount you donate, we're getting three times that. So if you donate $5, it's 15. If you donate 50, it's 150. And some of you were able to donate just the other day five or $10,000 because it's year end giving and you're doing planning. Well, that is the equivalent of a $10,000 gift would be $30,000 of benefit to the American Center for Law and Justice. So I want to encourage you to go to ACLJ.org. It's right there on the homepage uh, of the, of the website or hit the link here in the, wherever you're watching. Uh, somebody was watching on YouTube the other day, our radio broadcast. They donated right from YouTube $10,000. We really appreciate it. If you could do that, that would be great. We appreciate it at aclj.org. More music. Now McCartney's great tune done by JSB Freedom. This is my right, a right given by God, to live a free life, to live in freedom. Talking about freedom, talking about freedom, I will. You have nothing to say. <laughs> great song, great song by Three Dog Night, um, and they were amazing. I, they one of my favorite groups of all time because they're three singers. Come on, yeah, such good singers. So, are you ready? I think so. Is Jay ready? I'm ready. Jay, you good? Yeah, okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, there you go. Thank you, thank you. Da, da, da. Well, I've never been to Spain. But I like the kind of music Say 
see the ladies on Sunday And they sure know how to use it They can't abuse it Never gonna lose it I can't refuse it ACLG is just not this building. It's not just, it's a lot of lawyers all over the, all over the world, actually. And it's so cool that, no, I get to read some of the people that call uh, or, to, or email and say, I need this, and you're going, what are you doing bothering these guys? Well, and believe it, I mean, instantly. Okay, just a minute, we'll, we'll be on it. We'll, we'll check. And they, they check people. They kind of, like, uh, like Jay says, I mean, they spend a lot of time answering emails from just regular people, regular people that got, who got insulted because they were Christian, who got basically embarrassed because they were Christian, 
I'm sorry, I'm tired of that. I'm tired of watching this country be eaten up by ungodly forces. And when I found ACLJ, praise God, it was a godly force that had some power. But gang, the power, I hate to say it, comes through finances. And they can't do it on their own. And what's cool about these, these concerts we could do, first of all, we musicians that believe in what a a ACLJ is doing, we get a chance to use our talents to help ACLJ. And so really it's very important for us to, for you all on the uh, internet and here, aren't you rich people trying to get rid of your money anyway? <laughs> uh, I don't know because I've never been that, but <laughs> if I was, I would give it to the ACLJ. And I'm just, I'm letting you know, a little hint, do it. But God bless you all. Thank you again for, for supporting ACLJ. We're going to do a, a short set of, uh, we, we like to sometimes put a couple tunes together back to back from the same artist. And uh, we're, we're going to do a short Credence set. Is that okay for you guys? So we, we always enjoy his tunes. Really, Schlitz, the only one on the stage that can kind of sing sort of like him. <laughs> what he's saying is, we're going to watch him shred his throat. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> But yeah, but uh, we're going to do three of our favorites, if that's cool with you guys. Jay, you good to go? Okay, cool. This is called Bad Moon Rise. It goes like this. Ready, Marco? Yeah. Shoot me back. 
the shredder that's right <laughs> I, I think they they picked this song just to see me bleed that's right time for john schlitt to put his money where in, his mouth is right? I, I came in late for the rehearsal and okay well. hey how many of you watch hannity i know you listen to hannity well if you listen on his radio broadcast that bumper music you're hearing most of it is ours the only thing that's not is from our friend john rich which is his opening tune and this tune that we're about to do is actually one that sean specifically requested and they want it turned around in a day it's uh, the Credence tune, uh, Fortunate Son. So what we did was we came in the studio. I think we did it in one or two takes. Mark, I think two maybe. And we got it. And you're hearing it a lot. You're going to hear it tonight. But again, as we get ready to do this tune, you support the work of the American Center for Law and Justice at ACLJ.org. Stand with us as we fight for freedom around the globe, but right here in the United States at the end of the year at the Supreme Court for your right to vote. ACLJ.org. And remember, any amount you donate is tripled. Here we go.
send you down the wall, Lord. And when you ask them how much should they give, oh, they only answer more, more, more. Thanks for the help. I couldn't have done it without you. Thank you. <laughs> I could never sing that, John. Congratulations. I'm not sure if that's a compliment or not. No, 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 that's a I really <laughs> got a singer like John who can do anything. Can't what do he's that. really saying is, I wouldn't do it, John. <laughs> I'm not that stupid. I'd be in bed for the next week. <laughs> We're going to do another one from one of our other favorite vocal groups that do a lot of harmony, as I'm clanking around here. Um, this is a song from America, and it was written by uh, the, the one gentleman who became a believer. Dan, Dan, Dan Peak, that's right, exactly. He's no longer with us. He's with the Lord now, which is awesome. But uh, this is called Lonely People. It goes like this. is always a, a real thrill for us. Uh, like Jay says, we have the guy who sang uh, this song through the airways all over the world. He didn't write it. He wasn't the original, but he was better. I saw the original. I toured with him. This guy's better. And so this song is a very beautiful song, um, and he does a fa fantastic job. This is John Elfonte singing Dustin Wynn when we Thank get you. all set up. Absolutely. 
Uh, it's really, it's really an honor to be able to do this, to sing with John here. Uh, and I think the band does a fantastic job, but of course John does an amazing job. So uh, enjoy, enjoy. Praise God. Thank you. I close my eyes Only for a moment And the moment's gone All my dreams That's before my eyes Of curiosity Dust in the song I love. <laughs> Southern Cross. We, um, <clears throat> my cousin was a pretty good singer, Stephen Stills, and uh, he was part of, uh, it's true, he was part of uh, someone called uh, Crosby, Stills, and Nash Young, who happens to be one of my favorite trio of all time. 
Um, and we'd like to do a song for you uh, from from one of their albums. And it's a, would you say it's one of their biggies or really, oh, yeah. did, did it get lost in the shuffle or is one of the biggies? No, 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 no. like a, as far as, I think it's 80s. 1980s, their biggest hit. Yeah, probably like early 80s. And it should yeah. be, it's a beautiful song. So I think 1982, and I think it was their biggest mm. hit, it was the number one video on MTV. <laughs> See, these guys here are music experts. Jay has all this stuff going on with law and stuff. But you ask him anything about rock, he'll go, <laughs> and it's like he pushes the button, and music button, okay, and it blows me away. I've been in music for 50 years, and I don't know anything compared to him or him. I get... Thank but you, you were making music, and me and Jay were just uh, talking about it. Ooh, that, that was complimentary, thank you. Wow, I'll, I'll, I'll take that, yeah, that's good. All right. Everybody good to go? All right, let's go. This is Southern Cross. It goes like this.
wooden cross in a southern cross Thank you guys, thanks so much. Yeah, thanks so much. This is one we haven't done in a long time, over a year, and uh, Grand Funk Railroad. Love Mark Farner, good dude. And he wrote this apparently when he was kind of on his journey towards uh, towards finding Jesus. Wouldn't surprise me if it works. Yeah. This is called "Closer to Home." I'm your captain.
We appreciate you watching and continue to share this with your friends and support the work of the ACLJ at aclj.org. Coming up, Midnight Rider, a little Almond Brothers tune. Oh, there's a whole good little group of tunes coming up right here. Some of our favorites. Hmm? Some of our favorites. Uh, yeah, actually. Well, they're all our favorites, buddy. Folks, no kidding. Uh, Faith and Freedom, um, the, uh, that's what's going on uh, this last couple of months. With ACLJ, I, I love watching how they, they go for the underdog. They go for the guys that uh, nobody else wants because it's not politically correct. That's, that's super cool. ACLJ is not politically correct. Praise God. They go for the people that need it, not which will take them to the next level. They're already there. They don't need level levels. But, folks, again, please, the last night of the year, we need your help. We need your help. Uh, it's been beautiful. It's been a great year but not too great. <laughs> what he's trying to say is the beginning of the year wasn't so great, uh, but we have caught up. We're getting pretty darn close. We could close it tonight with your help at aclj.org, and as John said, any amount donated is matched. Yep. This is all my brother's tune called Midnight Rider. Go ahead, Marco.
as soon as Marco Straight Rock. Let's give us some of that bad jam. Come on. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> It sounded like ZZ Top there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> out for the drummers, a uh, little Eric Clapton number there, Crossroads, and a great tune and a great day for you to support the work of the ACLJ. This is the last moments of the last day of the year, and it's our biggest challenge we've ever had financially because we've got the cases at the Supreme Court of the United States. And the case involves your right, my right to vote for the candidate of our choice. And it really doesn't matter who you're for or who you're against. But if these Secretary of States, like in Maine or the Colorado Supreme Court, think they could just remove a candidate without due process, without a hearing, without a constitutional provision allowing them to do it, 
The whole country loses. Someone asked me, they said, what's your most important Supreme Court case? We've had the pro-life cases on Roe versus Wade. We've had the prayer and school issues. We've had the Bible clubs. We've had the pro-life cases. On and on it goes. None of that matters if we lose our right to vote. None of it matters. The Constitutional Republic literally is at stake. So we filed at the Supreme Court of the United States. We already have a case number, 23696. Not that I've already memorized it, which I have. The folk, that was just the first brief. We're going to have at least two more to do. Possible oral argument could be as early as mid-January. This thing is going to fly in the beginning of the year. And that's where we need you. Our whole team needs you at the ACLJ. Support our work, aclj.org. That's aclj.org. And any amount you donate, it's triple match. We've never done this before. Only we've done it for the last four or five days. And that means any amount you donate, if it's $5, it is 15. We had someone on radio, as I said earlier, gave $10,000. That became 30. They were watching on YouTube and they clicked over and gave $30,000, uh, $10,000, which became 30. So whether it is $5, $50, whatever it is, we appreciate that support. It's a critical, we're in the last hours of this, folks, on New Year's Eve. Help us get to that goal. ACLJ.org. More music. On the far corner back there, uh, we keep him back there because he behaves badly all the time. This is Chris Cook. <laughs> Next to him, on base, one of the original JSB members, this is Scott Kirkman. In the other corner, uh, with the, uh, the, the red gizmo that we always are in fear of every time he comes out with it. We don't know which it doesn't work, that's why. <laughs> we don't know which way it's going to go. This is Johnny Lowry. <laughs> Behind me, uh, another original member of JSB, him and Scott and Jay uh, used to get together all the time in their radio room in the early days, and they'd play till all hours of the morning. I think Jay's done with that. Uh, but <laughs> this is Marco Pangallo. But real quick over there, on the congas, on, and sometimes sings a little bit, sings real well, of course. This is John Elefante. Here in the middle, the, uh, the, the, the statesman of the band. Uh, I noticed I didn't put a word before that, just the statesman of the band, which, which is good. I, yeah, thank you, bud. And uh, certainly the eye candy and uh, everything else that goes with it. <laughs> this is John Schlitt. Let me introduce you, Ron. Mark is our, our music manager and helps us put all this stuff together when we're home doing nothing. And we really appreciate it, Mark. Mark Townsend. And... Last but not least, the leader, the founder, our drummer, our conga player, our guitar player, Mr. Jay Seklo. This is one of the first songs I, I learned. Of, probably my first band was like eighth grade, something like that. It was something, something of that sort. And this was one of the first songs that we learned. And it's pretty amazing to be playing that. Oh, only 20 years later, you know. So, so. Oh, 20 years. I could yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's going to take care of business. That's what we hope to do tonight. It goes like this.
song that featured John Alafonte. That was fantastic. We haven't done any that have really featured you. Well, I just figured I was in trouble. We, did, we didn't do your song. I think people would be it's really... a little bit funny. They'd be a little disappointed if, if we didn't do something, you know, by Petra or by that other band that you guys well, oh. did. Hedys, baby. Okay, well... It's a Hedys kind of night. <laughs> <laughs> it's New Year's Eve. Eve. You know what it is. It is New Year's. Okay, we should we should do that song. Yeah, you're right. Okay, all right. Well, thank you guys. What a nice thing to think. I just figured you guys were mad at me. <laughs> See, I came in late for re for practice today, and and uh, they've been holding against me all day. Who could who could be mad at John Schlitt? I mean, come on. <laughs> well, actually, hey, before we go, one more time. Yes. Um, faith and freedom. Um, we are anxious. The time is running. Uh, it's getting close to the witching hour uh, of the beginning of next year. And we would love for you guys to uh, just think about, think about joining this organization and watching lives change in many different ways. 
not just here in this country, but everywhere. But, of course, this country is very important. We have so many things going on, so many, excuse the word, stupid things going on. And because of ACLJ, we have some common sense still uh, at, our, at our hands, our fingertips. So please, please, if you, God is putting that in your heart, please donate as much as you can for ACLJ. It goes to a fantastic cause. And we do thank you all for, for watching us tonight. Yep. Uh, and if, if uh, when it's over, if you've missed it, come on back and you can still donate. Still donate. So uh, we thank you guys again so much. And, Jay, thank you for allowing us to be this band. Thanks, John. You know, it, it's such a blessing to be in this band with these guys. But to do this particular tune is, is really awesome because this is the guy that made this tune famous. And we've been able to play it with him now for over 10 years, which is great. Uh, but as John just said, look, folks, we can't do this without you. Your support of the ACLJ is critical. We're, uh, I want you to continue to share this with your friends. Even if you come into the concert late, you share it on any social media feed you're on. What happens is people then see it and they could play the whole thing back. So we encourage you to do it. But also, let me encourage you, support the work of the ACLJ at ACLJ.org. Because if you do that, it's going to allow us to handle the situation in the Middle East and the situation for you at the Supreme Court of the United States that I mentioned uh, before. I mean, the biggest case of the Supreme Court, who knew it was coming and who expected it to come in such a significant way? So it did. It has. We're prepared. We're doing the legal work. But that's where I need you to go with me to the Supreme Court. You know how you do that? Support our work. Whether it's $5 or $5,000, whatever you can afford to donate, it's going to be tripled. As John was saying, this is a big. This is our biggest day of the year. Go to ACLJ.org or hit the link wherever you're watching right now. We encourage you to do it aclj.org let's do a little never been any reason here we go
sweet love and better than a white line. Don't you know she can bring a good feeling? It ain't had in such a long time. Save my life, I'm going down for the last time. Much. Happy New Year, everybody. Again, support the work of the ACLJ, ACLJ.org, and good night. <laughs>